This is just a short segment to show you where everything is on Blackboard. As you can see, when you go to the course materials page, I have arranged the course in terms of a bunch of folders. So at the top is the folder assignments. When you click that, you will see links to detailed descriptions for each assignment. So they come up in PDF files and then you can um, read about what's expected in terms of the content assignment and always at the end there's a note about the format and the due date. And so all the information that you need to complete the assignments is there. Also, um, if you see there's a hyperlink where the title of assignment number one elements of a lit review are. If you click on that link, that takes you to the place where you need to submit your assignment. So again, it links, it gives you a link to the assignment description. It explains how many points are available. And then here is text submission. Uh, usually what students do is they write the text in a Word document and then um, upload that document here. It says browse my computer for copyright cleared file. Uh, the University of Saskatchewan is uh, vigilant about making sure that uh, we only use materials on Blackboard that have been copyright cleared. Anything that you've written on your own is fine. Um, of course, you're going to cite your sources. Eventually, I will uh, have a rubric up here. Rubric meaning um, what I'm going, how I'm going to mark the assignment. And so you can look at that and see that your assignment is uh, in line with what's expected. But you um, you click the link uh, for uploading your assignment and um, it will be submitted via Blackboard. So you do not email me assignments, you submit them via Blackboard. Uh, below the assignment is the discussion forum folder. If you click that, you'll get to the discussion board and then you'll see that there's already um, a thread created. It's called discussion number one, hopes and fears. So after today's lecture, after you've viewed all the videos, I'd like you to write a post describing at least one of the things that you hope to learn in this course and one thing that you're concerned about or that you're worried about. Could be about the course content itself, could be about some of your own personal learning goals. Um, it's totally up to you. So write, write one thing that you're hopeful for and one thing that you're worried about. And so you click into the discussion forum and then um, you see the, the button there, create thread. And so then uh, you can put a subject line and you can um, post to the discussion forum. And so I would like everybody to post um, a one uh, thread before next class if you're staying in the course. So that's the discussion board and you will see um, more discussion forums created after the classes uh, get going and you'll be required to uh, contribute to those uh, discussion boards. They're not only a place for uh, you to record the outcomes of your discussions, but I encourage students to read the discussion board. It's a, another way to learn from your peers and a good way to uh, prepare for uh, the exams. Uh, you already are familiar with the video folder if you're watching this. Uh, below the video folder is government documentation. This is uh, some documents that we will be using in class. You will also need them to complete uh, one of the assignments. So they're in that folder. Uh, below that is the data file for uh, the GSS data and syntax. At the moment, I think it's empty, but I'll be uploading uh, the data from Statistics Canada General Social Survey 2011 and you'll need that for assignment number four and we'll also be using those in the labs. Lecture slides, uh, today's lecture uh, will be in that folder as will Wednesday's lecture and um, occasionally I'll put some lecture slides in there. I won't do that on a regular basis but I will put some there say for a special guest lecture or for a review. And then finally, you'll see a folder for the syllabus survey. And so if you click that open, it will uh, uh, eventually uh, give you uh, an opportunity to uh, complete a survey based on um, your reading of the syllabus. So I encourage you to go through the syllabus. And um, if uh, then you go and complete the syllabus survey, that's worth uh, some marks on your online writing portion of, of the course. Uh, you can use Blackboard, obviously, to email me and email your classmates. I will put out uh, announcements of upcoming events or assignments when
when they're when they're due and then uh, you can also access your grades on blackboard um, I, the grades are up on blackboard the the official grades uh, that I submit uh, I draw from a spreadsheet that I keep personally so sometimes my spreadsheet doesn't look exactly like what's on blackboard um, but it all works out in the end so um, don't worry and um, also just another note when you submit assignments uh, via blackboard I also return them via blackboard and uh, as I state in the syllabus you will usually get your assignments back within two weeks of the date due so that's a little bit about uh, the way the course is set up on Blackboard, and I ask you to familiarize yourself with that.